Okay, so what is cyclical unemployment? Cyclical unemployment, uh, if you can guess, is going to go in cycles. Uh, what does that mean? That means that that's when uh, industries are going like this, or, or uh, the economy is going like this. It's going to be cyclical. That means it's not going to be consistent. It's going to go up and it's going to go down. Unemployment that rises during economic downturns and falls and becomes improves is called cyclical unemployment. Obviously, if it's because of the economy, uh, hopefully the government's paying attention to this because sometimes it's going to be high, sometimes it's going to be low. They're going to be trying to figure out what that is. Is it just because? Um, it, <laughs> I don't have a good example as to why people would have more money, but maybe people would have more money that they're able to spend. The economy's going to be high, and then also it's going to be a little bit lower. So you're going to have to cut people off. We've talked about that. If the company's not selling as much stuff and they're not able to cut costs, they're going to have to uh, maybe lay some people off. Obviously, that's not everybody's choice. Talking to my buddy who moved into town uh, this, this week, we were talking about his company and what they're doing. They're not generating enough money. So his first thing was we've got to cut costs. And I kind of laughed and I said, you know, you got to fire people. He says, well, that's, what's talk, uh, that's what talks about cutting costs. He says, I don't want to fire people. He says, but that is uh, cutting costs. So we're going to try not to have to do that. We're going to try to generate more revenue first. We're going to try to cut, uh, make things for lower before we go into steps of firing people. So hopefully they don't have to fire anybody because that would not be a good thing. Uh, during recessions, the demand for goods and services drop. Obviously, uh, right now is a great example of a downturn in our economy and a low part uh, because of what's going on. The goods and services, it may not be that the demand has dropped as far as what we want, but we can't go out, so therefore the demand has dropped. The demand has dropped for gas for a lot of people because they are not traveling. It's not that they don't want to travel. It's because they're physically not buying it. It's not that they maybe can't afford it. It's because they don't need to, so therefore the demand is dropping. They're not buying as much. Uh, Senator Sparavis uh, no longer holds true. They have uh, some outside condition. The coronavirus has come in and caused that. Uh, I, on the other hand, I am buying as much. I'm buying more gas right now than I would on a normal uh, time because of turkey season. I, you know, I mentioned that, or I talked about, uh, asked you the question about uh, spending gas and things like that. And was the demand higher and was the supply doing? Uh, the demand for gas is low, therefore the supply is going to be low because the price is down. The price is down. Where it's not the, in theory what should be happening. Demand should be being bought at a high price. I mean, at, at a lot high amount because the le demand is low. Because we're not traveling, people are not buying it. Therefore, the price is low. If the price is low and people aren't buying it, supply is sure not going to happen uh, because there's no need to. There, 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 there's not a need to restock. You can go watch and see, and there's probably a fewer and fewer trucks dropping off gas because of that. Same thing with milk. If you've seen that stuff with the milk cows and things like that. Uh, the demand for milk <coughs> still exists. But we're not buying as much. It's not me. It's not you. It is schools who provide milk for little kids every single day. Those are the ones who, they are not buying it. It's not, there's not a demand for milk. They are not buying the milk because those doors are closed. And so that's why so many people are having to dump milk down the drains right now. Farmers milk, dump milk down the drain um, because those people are not, you know, we're buying it, but those people are not. And it may be that only five or ten people are buying milk to give their kids. Uh, and where at the school, those, those, all 10 of those people would be getting the milk. So, as an example, the price is down on these things, uh, but therefore the supply is not. And so what's happening is, is the, the, the people who are, who are not buying that combination of goods for different reasons, or whatever it happens to be, uh, it's because of where we are in the economy right now, because of this coronavirus, putting things on a standstill, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, because of the, uh, the, the the demand dropping and things like that, it's going to result in slowdown in production, which causes demand for labor to drop as well. And companies have to lay off workers. It's just how it is. If there's no money coming in, that's what's happening right now. Is what we're seeing. Places who are not working, who are not doing, are having to lay people off because there's no money coming. You can't continue to pay somebody, no matter how much you love them, how much you like them, if there's no money coming in still. If they're not able to do their job, it's just the facts. Uh, hopefully they'll hire them back, but right now all these people have lost jobs. Some are trying to pay them a little bit to, to kind of float this thing because hopefully this thing's going to end sooner than later. But if it goes on and continues to extend, these people that have been kind of floating these companies and these, these star athletes who are paying these people, these star athletes, if they don't, if they're not bringing in money because they're not playing and people, they can't get paid either because if people can't come together and play in these stadiums and watch these, if the fans can't come watch, these guys aren't going to make any money. That's a large portion of it. Yes, advertising is part of it too, but if they're not playing, like people have signed on deals, which I know the draft has or has not happened, I don't know when that thing goes on. But these people have signed on like contract deals and things like that. If nobody ever gets to see them play, how they're going to how good they are, they're going to cut the contract, they're going to stop bringing in money eventually. And so you have to continue to bring money in or things are going to change. And if the athlete's not bringing in money, if I'm not bringing in money, I'm not buying those goods, therefore uh, it can lead to cycle unemployment. Maybe not for me. Maybe I still get paid. 
Uh, maybe it's because other people are not, if I'm not spending it. I don't, it just all depends on the situation. Uh, as we're talking about, I'm fine right now. I still have a job. I'm still teaching. I'm still able to spend my money, but I'm not spending my money the same way I always do. Therefore, causing people, other people lose their jobs because of that. Uh, I'm buying gas because I'm going turkey hunting. That's the reason. I'm still running up down the road turkey hunting, but I'm, I'm still practicing social, uh, social distancing and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm actually spending more on gas as far as gallons, but luckily the price is down. I, don't, I get to spend a little bit more. I'm driving more probably than I should be uh, because of it. Uh, many workers, of course, will be uh, rehired at the end of these recessions. I mentioned that. Hopefully, that's what happens. Hopefully, but is that person going to be there? That's the other thing for the company. The hiring, they may not be able to hire that person back. They may have to hire another person, which will lose the experience. It may not be as expensive, which will help them too. So there's a lot of there's the double-edged sword on the, uh, the recession and ending, and the people coming back uh, for that. You expect to see cycle unemployment, it happens. There's going to be up and down turns in the economy. Recessions are one thing, depressions are a whole other thing. There's going to be up and down in the economy all the time. It's just normal parts of it. But as long as people still have jobs, uh, it may be because of a changing in the jobs and what's out there. But as long as people can have jobs, then the economy's going to be fine. It's when you can't replace those jobs and people are not getting those jobs. There's no one here in the back.